you know, when Goku normally does win these competitions and win these fights, I gotta say, this time around, Vegeta, I think you took the cake on this dance move. So what is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I'm here today with another SPR story. Akira Toriyama, the guy that wrote Dragon Ball, originally was a comedy writer. He wrote a series called Dr. Slump. It's actually where Arale is from. I believe that there's more comedy in Dragon Ball than people give it credit for. I started realizing the Japanese version because the voices are hilarious. Japanese jokes don't have punchline. They just have wordplay. So things like the sands being named after vegetables or when Goku has to tell King Kai a joke, it's just a pun. And I want to read into that humor. These are just speculations of mine it's about the art on these cards so if this is your guys first time here and you here want to hear more of these jokes from joku definitely hit that subscription button and if you're a returning member of the joe crew and you enjoy these jokes thanks for coming and laughing with me anyway let's get into this spr story obviously the best dancer in the dragon ball universe and you know him well as Vegeta, the Dancing King. But in order to tell the story of this card, we really have to take a look at the SR of this card. Vegeta walking down a catwalk and performing his ultimate move, how close his legs are together, the tightness of his pants. He is really ready to get his dance on. And this is gonna be a pretty intense dance move or series of dance moves. We're not sure exactly. Vegeta has his spirit fingers out to the side. They're glistening with these balls of energy and he is walking down the catwalk. And Vegeta is always always in competition with Goku. He's been in competition with Goku since they started fighting. And I think Vegeta sort of realizes that he and Goku are different. They're not the same. And at the end of the day, they have to be fighting different fights towards different goals. You know, Goku fights to not lose. Vegeta fights to win. Vegeta, I think, has realized that the place that he can win is by performing a much more powerful dance move than Goku. So you can see here, Vegeta has his fists clenched, his teeth are clenched, and you can see the power of all the gold foil that's spreading out from his biceps and his abs and his eyes and everywhere. All this gold foil is just blasting out because the, the dance floor has to get cleared in order for him to make enough space for him to dance so he's kind of here walking up the catwalk to the dance floor and when he arrives he knows in his head this is his chance he is finally gonna be better than goku at something and that something is the ultimate dance move so this is dancing king vegeta i hope you guys can appreciate how much better of a dancer vegeta is than goku if you guys watch the fusion dance vegeta always seems to have it a little bit more together even though you know they both have to do the exact same dance and be at the exact same power level. Vegeta always looks like he's got the dance under more control, even though obviously he doesn't want to be dancing with Goku. Anyway, guys, this is the SPR story. I hope you guys enjoy this little story about the dancing King Vegeta. I'm a dentist, so I have these uh, high magnification loop that allow me to really see what's going on on this cardboard. And this is, whoa, oh gosh, wow. Oh God, look at the shine on this thing. Whoever is designing these SPRs and SRs for this set, my hat is off to you. This is so gorgeous. It is a god dang gorgeous card. And if you got some beans, if you got some beans, but this is the Dancing King Vegeta is the rise of the super warrior. He has risen to the challenge to show how powerful his dance moves are. I love the Rise of the Unison Warrior SPRs and SCRs. I think they are some, I think they're some of the best cards ever printed in Dragon Ball history. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, story. And if you guys want to see more of these stories, and this is your first time here, make sure to hit that subscription button. We'll be doing these all the time. If you guys are returning members of the Joe Crew, thank you for your continued support. I thoroughly appreciate you coming by and hearing these stories or watching these shrippums. And uh, I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth Tip. It's really easy to forget to floss behind your last molar. It's kind of like one hand clapping, right? When you think of flossing, you think about flossing between teeth and there's no tooth behind your last tooth, but you still have to floss back there because the brush doesn't get back there that well. So if you're using your reach flosser, you can get back there with the reach flosser, or if you're using string floss, you can get in back there and get behind that molar and, uh, pull that stuff down off. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching Vegeta win this dance party. And if you are Vegeta fans out there, then you know, this one, this one definitely goes to Vegeta. I am Joku DMD. I, this has been a SPR story. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about these jokes that may or may not be in Dragon Ball. And I will see you guys next time.
I do kind of want to compare these two S SPRs. If we look at the, the Goku versus the Vegeta SPR, now it looks like Goku hasn't quite even gotten to the dance party. It looks like he's looking out as if he's planning to get there, but maybe he missed his Uber or missed his Lyft, and he's going to be a little bit late to the party, which doesn't mean that he can't dance, but I think if Vegeta is already there and he's already making these movements, Vegeta might just steal the show. Goku might show up late this time and not have enough dance power. I think the best dance move we see Goku pull in Vermilion Bloodline is uh, when SS4 Goku the Energy Annihilator comes in. But when we look at SS4 Energy Annihilator and we look at SS4 Vegeta, I mean, Vegeta is clearly going to bust a much stronger dance move. He's in dancing pose. Vegeta can easily answer that with Are You Ready to Rumble? The most fun card to play in the Dragon Ball Super card game. I mean, when you play this thing, you literally just get to scream, Are you ready? Ready to rumble! Are you ready to rumble? Really answers Energy Annihilator well. And Rise of the Super Warrior SS4 Vegeta has clearly got his dance on a lot more effectively than SS4 uh, Goku Protector of Earth. So I gotta say, this time around, Vegeta, I think you took the cake on this dance move. So